Hi, my name is Terry Orr. I'm with All the Arts for All the Kids Foundation, and I'm going to guide you through a project that you can do at home looking at stained glass flowers in warm and cool colors. This is Louis Comfort Tiffany. He was a stained glass artist known for depicting the natural world. We're going to be inspired by his stained glass flowers while also taking a look at the color wheel. Over here we have the color wheel and art is how we organize color. We can divide the color wheel into warm and cool colors. On one side of the color wheel we've got warm colors. Those are those yellows, oranges, and reds. I always remember they're warm colors because they're the colors of the sun and I think the sun is really, really, really warm. On the opposite side we've got cool colors. Those are those greens, blues, and purples. When we put groupings of cool colors next to groupings of warm colors we create contrast, meaning they make each other really stand out. So now we're going to start our project. I'm using a six and a half by ten piece of blue construction paper, but you can do this project with any size or any color paper that you have. I'm also using oil pastels for my drawing of this project, but again, you can use any coloring tool because we're focusing on being inspired by stained glass flowers and warm and cool colors. Now, I like to start with any color. I'm going to start with orange. I just like to kind of plan out what I'm going to do. So I might add my flowers. I might even add a stem if you feel inspired to add a stem or a leaf. I might even put a flower in the corner. When you add something in the corner that's called or all the way to the edge of your paper, that's called open composition. It's kind of a nice technique to try and fill your page. I might put another smaller flower kind of down here with another stem and some leaves. Then we're going to fill up our background thinking about stained glass lines. Now there's a couple ways we can do this. I'm just going to show you three ideas, but you can fill up your background any way you like. These are just three ideas if you're feeling kind of stuck. One idea is you can divide up your background in kind of a curve or a wave. Of course, you would be skipping over wherever your flowers are. Another idea is kind of splicer, geometric lines just kind of allowing your hand to create these different types of shapes. A third idea is a grid. For my example, I'm going to do those like kind of splicer lines, but again, there is no right way to do it, and you should go with whatever inspires you. So I might just kind of divide my page up. I'm just splicing through the page, creating small kind of organic shapes to divide up. Then we're going to color it in and we're going to be thinking about warm and cool colors. Again, warm colors are like those colors of the sun, those reds, oranges, and yellows. Cool colors are the opposite, those greens, blues, and purples. So whatever you do for your flower, you want to do the opposite in your background. So if I make my flower warm colors, I'm going to make my background shapes cool colors. If I make my flower cool colors, I'm going to make my background shapes warm colors. For my example, I'm going to add warm colors in my flower. So I might do some of oranges in my flower. If I've used orange, then I know I can also use red. I could also use red or yellow. Then I would change it to the opposite colors for the background. So I might use a blue in the background. I might use a purple in the background. And I could kind of change and make each box a separate and different color. Once you filled up your whole page, you can see how I used warm colors for my flowers and cool colors in the background. I like to call this a finishing touch. I might take one color, like a dark blue or a black or a dark green, and outline those lines. I find it kind of really brings it together. If I create a dark outline, it makes it kind of look more like stain. So now you can see I finished by just completing my black outline. These are just suggestions. We want to see what you come up with. Maybe design your own flower or create your own type of stained glass line. We like it when all our art looks a little bit different. Thank you and enjoy.